the supermarket now. I got stuff to pick up. So let's do it. Blue cheese makes everything better. I don't get to the grocery store very often, so this is a big deal. Okay. Ooh, brioche style. It, it, the best for olive oil is either to be in glass like this or in a 41 cents a um, an ounce. So that seems to be the the best buy. And this is good for. Um, cooking or frying or anything you need with oil at high temperatures. Oh, cornstarch. I go through a lot of cornstarch because um, it is inexpensive and it is cheaper to use your oil more than once and then clean it up with some cornstarch. I'm going to make some candy pecans. I like thick spaghetti. Rosemary. Oh, my perfume. What? <laughs> Pesto for my family. And I have everything else I need to make the pesto, so that'll be good. It's the season. <gasps> I don't have much of a social life because all I do is work. Well, you can come in Albertsons anytime. I'll I can, I can. But you know what? You know my subscribers are my... Are your people? They are. I You know, I was talking with the girl at the checkout stand and I didn't even check my receipt to see how much it was. So let's unpack this. Oh, I'm so excited about these. You look before I do. I, I'm praying for under 200. That's what I made from YouTube last month. So that's what will cover my groceries. 187.27. You thought I forgot you. I'd never forget you. I'm, it's time for me to cook dinner now and I'm gonna make the creamy triple cheese pesto. are very expensive and so you can substitute pecans you can substitute walnuts walnuts is probably the most affordable and I've also read that you can substitute pistachios but those are very expensive too so why would you want to do that so I'm using walnuts I have a new, a new um, Tupperware, and I'm gonna get this paper towel wet. Not damp, but wet. And then I'm gonna place it in this um, Tupperware. This one right here. And this cilantro will come here with me. I'm so silly sometimes, but you know what? That's like 
I love to be silly. Okay, so a little earlier, I made some pesto and I put it in the fridge for it to just chill a little bit, you know, chillax. And um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make our cheese Alfredo pesto. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, hi. He wants to say hi. <laughs> okay. So, let me get the cheese out of the refrigerator. I have here some Parmigiano-Reggiano. Ooh, that was a good accent, huh? <laughs> and then here I have some Romano. That's my favorite. And then here I have some Asiago. I like that with Romano. I like all these cheeses together, they're good. Okay, first lesson in Alfredo is to slowly melt the butter and cream together. So slowly, okay? And in the meantime, let's cut the cheese. So much healthier for you than the back cheese. The back cheese has so much um, preservatives in it and uh, it's not good. It's just not good. Okay, how about that for some Asiago? And I don't want this to boil right yet. It low and slow mixed together. You could see how fattening this is, but that's okay. So what I want to do right now, I want to salt and pepper this, okay? A little bit of salt and pepper, okay. Look at that, boom, look at that. Now we're gonna move this together. This already is a three cheese Alfredo. Do we stop here? No, we don't. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is five star right there. But you know what? We're gonna add this pesto that I made earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a whisk. And let's let this uh, hang out underneath the, or hang out with the fire for a little bit. And then, mm, oh my God, that's to die for. Oh yeah, let's do that again. I need to get um, some stuff going on. Hang on. Husband, he's gonna help with the salad because I am, I'm running out of steam. I haven't sat down for about four hours and that's a long time for me, yeah. Okay, I thought that I had my video going the whole time and guess what, I didn't. But anyway, I have this leftover uh, rosemary butter and so I um, put it on that. And so, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna soak the top a little bit. And it goes into a 425 oven for 15 minutes, I think. I think that's what it said. Okay, 425 for, is it 15 minutes, Tom? Uh, 12 to 15. Okay, 425 for 12 to 15 minutes. Let me have Siri um, help me out. Hey Siri, put the timer on for five minutes, please.
I'm Calamity Girl, and that's my point of view right there, Bubby. <laughs> that was my point of view for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It meant a lot to me to make it, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch. So I will see you on my next video. Don't forget to watch my shorts because I have one or two coming out every single day. Okay, guys, take care.